what's up team for let's say sicker amy welcome back to my channel welcome to kick off my canal so in today's video i am back again with another aloe vera deep conditioner hair treatment these are all the ingredients i'm going to be using and my favorite blender so i'm going to be using an aloe vera gel banana egg honey and my diy hair oil if you guys have not seen the video me show you guys how i extract the aloe vera gel from the aloe vera plant i will link it for you guys in the comments box so please check it out so i'm going to be using one banana two egg and two spoon of honey and three spoon of my diy hair mask so i'm making this um hair mask actually for the girls both of the girls so that's why i'm using quite a lot um you can definitely put more or put less products it all depends on your hair if your hair is long maybe you're going to be needing more if your hair is short maybe you're going to be needing less less of the product so you don't need a lot of ingredient to make this but i'm actually making this for the girls for both of them because i thought you know what just do it for the both of them just to make things easy instead of making separate one for each and every one so when i make it like this after blending everything i will just share the products so everybody will have equals because my older daughter she have much longer hair and the younger one her hair is a bit shorter because we did cut the hair so she's not going to be needing that much so yeah now i'm separating it but because this is a liquidy i'm going to be put it into a container an application bottle which is going to make the process much more easier to apply it into the hair so this one is the one i'm going to be using for my older daughter because she have like much longer hair and the other one i'll use it later for the younger one so this is my daughter alia she's a bit happy today she's excited to do the hair because the whole week i just leave her alone with her hair because she was not in the mood of doing her hair so the whole week the hair was just in the pony but then i told her in the weekend we have to do some hair mask so at least to kind of make the hair a little bit you know healthier to kind of strengthen the hair because the whole week the hair was just like that in the hair the pony not crazy scattered like that but like you know exposed um to the weather so she was like okay cool so the whole week we just have the hair in the pony and so today i was like let's do some deep conditioner hair treatment she was she was happy so i didn't actually detangle the hair so as i'm applying the product i am like finger detangling it little by little so i turn the, the 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 product into this application bottle it makes it more easier since the product is liquidy it makes it more easier to apply i'm focusing more on the ends and as i am applying the product i'm also using that opportunity to do like a little bit of finger detangling but later on um after i wash the hair when it's time to wash the hair, I will go in with some conditioner and do like a proper detangle before styling the hair. So yeah, she was just, she was like, yeah, there's pain. You guys can see her crazy face expressions. So I was like telling her, yeah, this is what, that's, this is why I tell you, let's do the hair. You was like, you're not in the mood. So now you leave your hair like this and it's a little bit painful. So yeah, that's the reason why I didn't really bother to detangle the hair when the hair was dry. So I'm like, okay, let's just apply the 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 conditioner, and then I will do a little bit of finger detangle, and later on, will we actually go in with some conditioner, and do like a proper detangle? So she was kind of cool with that, you know. Sometimes the kids are not really in the mood to do their hair, and I'll just put it in a pony. Um, I always have like a leave-in spray that I make 
and I would just be spraying it every single day and put moisturizer so that the hairs look good. But then I, I, I don't do anything. I don't comb it. I don't do anything because if they're not in the mood, I don't want to force. And sometimes when the kids are not in the mood to do their hair and when you are forcing, it can be a little bit frustrated because they'll be just crying, making sound or every little touch, you'll be like, ow, it's painful. Ow, it's painful. And so if they're not in the mood, I just leave the hair. But I always make sure I put it in a pony and spray it with my hairspray that i normally make and then moisturize it and then yeah the weekend i get to do this i get to do like deep conditioner hair mask give the hair like a proper treatment before putting it into a proper protective hairstyle so she was like yeah it's painful so that's the reason why i see i was like really going slow by slow trying to do finger detangling and later on we are going to do like a proper detangle. Her hair is getting really longer and longer. And I'm super excited. And she's actually loving the hair. So sometimes I'm like, I make joke with her. I'm like, should I cut your hair? You're not in the mood to do your hair. Should I just cut it again? And she's like, no. We, the hair has grown so much. I don't want to cut it. And so I'm like, okay, I'm just joking. Yeah. Sometimes she get tired and... I kind of look like, okay, if you don't want to do your hair, then let's cut it. <laughs> and sometimes she's like, okay, no, okay, we'll do it tomorrow. Today I'm tired. So yeah, I'm just trying to apply the product and do a finger detangle and massage. And she was like, my hair is itchy. Can you itch it for me? And yeah, so that's what I was doing, trying to itch the hair, trying to itch the head. And uh, the product was very liquidy, so it was kind of like dropping on her face. So I gave her a towel to kind of like, clean her hair is so beautiful her hair is really beautiful i'm really loving how far we have gone we have come with this journey i can't just imagine maybe i'll show you guys a little picture of her when i cut her hair i've cut her i've cut her hair several times i've cut this girl hair several times and this time i was like you know what we're going to make it work. I'm not going to be cutting your hair again. We're going to make it work. And um, if she's not in the mood, I just let her be. And when she's in the mood, we just do it, you know. Sometimes she's not in the mood, but then I'm like, let's just do what we can do. So at least your hair um, is still looking healthy so that your hair don't break or looking kind of crazy on your head. So, yeah, it's a little bit challenging sometimes with girls sometimes they are like really in the mood and sometimes they are just not in the mood and yeah and when they're not in the mood you try to force it it's just crazy so i try my best to just go with the flow and when they're in the mood it's fun it's really fun doing the hair it's fun i enjoy the process they enjoy it we have fun we bond it's like this is our time where we will talk, I will ask questions, what hairstyle do you want, and it's crazy. So yeah, now I've put all the products, I'm just going to focus on the ends. I really like to focus on the ends of the hair, and I like to put my hair oil. Like this is my onions hair oil that I make. She doesn't like the, the smell of the onions um, in her in her head. So I only use this when it's wash day, when like I'm doing deep conditioner, I will mix this sometimes with the deep conditioner. I will use this to massage her, her hair, her head, and then I will wash it out because she's like, I don't want to smell like an onions when I'm going to school. So I'm like, okay, we only put this one when you're home, when you're not going to school and we will wash it. So as you guys can see, I kind of put a lot of the, the conditioner on the ends of the hair because the end is like the oldest part. So just to like minimize breakage, I kind of really focus on the ends. Whenever I'm doing the kids hair, I really focus on the ends. So now I'm just like putting the rest of the products and I'm going to be using the plastic bag to like really allow the ends of the hair to hang on the product to really soak in 
and i'm just going to do that and tie tie the plastic on her head i'm going to allow this to sit in for 30 to 45 minutes sometimes it do it sometimes i do leave it in for like more than an hour it all depends so yeah this was it and i'm just going to make sure i secure the ends because there there was a lot of products hanging and I really want to soak the ends with the product. Excuse my crazy face expressions. So we are almost finished and she was kind of happy. She was happy where we're finished. She can go back and do her thing. She was like painting, drawing. She really loved um, painting and drawing. So I was like, okay, let me just do the hair quickly. And then you can go and sit down and do your painting and drawing. It's more easier. So I'm really trying to secure the the head the conditioner just secure it because it's kind of messy and so i'm putting multiple plastic bag towel and also give her an extra towel for for her neck so that in case the product is like dropping so she will not be like uncomfortable with the with the whole mess so yeah this is it. Now it's time to wash. It's a couple of, um, I think one hour later or something. I don't know. I was doing something. She was painting. So I think it's one hour, maybe even more than one hour later. So now it's time to wash the hair. It's looking so good. So that's the conditioner I'm going to be using to detangle. And yeah, she really loved it. The hair felt really, really good. That's one thing I love about um, making DIY products. Because when you make your own DIY product with the things you have at home, the hair feels so good. There's always a difference with the feeling of the hair when you use um, conditioner from the market than when you buy your own conditioner. It's always it's always different it's always different and yeah the hair felt so soft it was feeling it was so soft so shiny looking so healthy and i just love the way everything looked like so guys i didn't share with you guys the process of me detangling because we were going to sit down in the living room watching movie and i really want to detangle it's very nice so i'm just going to wash the products out of the hair and then we were going to sit down in the living room detangle the hair properly and then wash it and style it so yeah this was it hope you all like this video if you do please do not forget to like comment and subscribe if you have any questions let me know in the comment box team fullest peace out bye do